As we're continuing on our teaching, standing firm in faith, in love, in gentleness, in peace, I want to talk to you today about standing firm in His faithfulness. You know, the definition of this word faithfulness, it means steadfast in affection or allegiance. It means a firm adherence to the promise. It means observance to duty. It means to stick to the facts. It means a standard and a, a something that's loyal. You know, when I look at this word, this is one of the most amazing words in the Bible. You talk about a trait and a characteristic of who God is. There's so many times he does so much for all of us and he wants to do for you that you simply tie everything up in one word and say he's just faithful. And he's faithful and he works in faithfulness. God's looking for you and I to be faithful, to practice faithfulness. That means if you give somebody your word, stick with it. If you ask somebody to do something for you, you want them to do it. If someone gives you an assignment at a job, a family assignment, whether it's being married or somewhere in the church, stay steadfast. Be that person that functions with allegiance. Be that person that is steadfast in your affections. Because to be faithful or to be a person that walks in faithfulness, we've got to be steadfast in our affections. Our heart has to be in it. And that's real. We, our heart has to really be in it. And so what we're looking at is to be loyal. Loyal doesn't mean perfect. Peter wasn't perfect. Peter denied Jesus that he ever knew him a couple of times. He wasn't perfect, but he was faithful and he practiced faithfulness. Why do you, you say that? Because in the end, in the end, Jesus said to him, I'm going to give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Now, if he didn't believe in him, or trust him, he would not have given him keys because keys represent responsibility. And he gave this guy the responsibility of ushering in and opening up the kingdom of heaven in the earthly realm to the rest of the world after him. After Jesus departed, Peter was in charge. But Peter was faithful. Peter stayed the course. All of us are going to veer off every now and then, but he was faithful. So Jesus, so Jesus trusted him because Peter practiced faithfulness. You know the old hymn, it says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. I mean, think about that, that line. And that's actually scripture. It's a steadfast, it's a love of faithfulness. That means he loves us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, eternally, all the time. He loves us. He never stops loving us. That's too much to believe sometimes, but it's true. God loves you eternally. And then it says, his mercies never come to an end. You say, well, Lord, I messed up. Lord, I blew it. Lord, I didn't do this right. He says, my mercy is like a fountain that just keeps pouring out in your favor. My mercy is there. My faithfulness is there because I love you. I love you. I love you. And that's why he's so faithful because faith without works is dead. But faith works by love. And because he loves you, then his faithfulness comes out because he's in love with you then his faithfulness just keeps pouring out. It just keeps pouring out of him every day in your behalf. And he wants you to know how much he loves you. And that's why when you ask him for something, he never lets you down because of the faithfulness. And God's asking you and I 
to walk in this same trait and character, to stand firm in faithfulness. Lamentations 3.23 says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Every morning. They're new. Today when you woke up, God had already planned a new batch of faithfulness, a new soup of faithfulness, a new loaf of faithfulness for you to eat from. That's amazing. And I don't care what you go through today, His faithfulness is new every morning. And He says, and great is your faithfulness. It's great. In Psalm 36, verse 5, it says, Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. My God. Think about this. His faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. That means it's limitless, it's endless, that God's going to always be that person in your life, in my life, in the lives of those that you and I believe in and want to see succeed. He said, I'll always be there for you. Psalm 89, 1 says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Man, God is like supremely consistent in his affection and allegiance to us. In fact, Jesus simplified it by simply saying this, I'll never leave you. Now I'm going to say it again. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. Great is God's faithfulness. So stand firm in his faithfulness today. Stand firm in his faithfulness today. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.